Hello everyone and welcome to uh, our retrieval episode. Uh, you know what it is. It's the it's the episode number on the title of the video. There it is. Uh, and I, uh, the, uh, let's talk about we, we, this. Is the topic of the video is Act Six, Act Two of Hive Swap, the new thing that came out. Uh, let's let's talk about that. That hey hey he he. I uh, I'm, uh, with me is me. Uh, give and take, given circuit. Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. And with me uh, today is Steve, the illustrious human. Arm retrieval! <laughs> it's really good, and that's that's the show. Uh, yeah. No one else. The the podcast that is simultaneously hated by its creators and will never die. We will f- complete. Yeah, it's the best show. It's the only podcast. And um <laughs> I I'm sorry, I'm being distracted by a lot of by a lot of cute girls wrestling I'm seeing uh in the background. Unrelated. It's, it, Hive Swap is not a wrestling game, just so you know. But I probably will put the characters in the wrestling game. That would be fun. All right. So so Hive Swap, the new act of Homestuck, uh arm retrieval. What did you think uh overall? Well, I'm glad you asked, Gibbon, Carkit, Circuit, Man, Troll, Alternia, because I just so happen to have a video on this very topic over on my YouTube channel called youtube.com slash stevetha. It's a stunning and thrilling review of Hive Swap, the game. It's very relevant. It's going to get a lot of views, and you should view it with your eyes, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you'll get a very thorough, complete, objective analysis of the game based on the two hours that I played. That's a very thorough, that's a, that's a very long time to play a game for, trust me, and it's, it's going to be great. That's what I said, and uh, yeah, I thought Hive Swap was was pretty good. I thought I thought it was yes. I thought it was like if you take into account the amount of time it, t- it took to exist, <coughs> and the the troubles they had along the way, and the, and the fact that Homestuck uh, Act Six was created because Hive Swap, um, and the fact that it was going to be in three D, which looked great. Uh, it, it it's not bad, but it's I can see why people would be not into it and disappointed. But I haven't I haven't well, I heard think, anyone say that they're disappointed yet, so I don't know. I think that literally everyone on Arm Retrieval except for us two said that Hive Swap was going to be a giant pile of shit, and then we were like, ah, the trailer looks pretty cute though. I th- I think it's just going to be pretty cute, and it's like it, it clearly resembles Act Six Homestuck more than it does Act One Homestuck, and that's a disappointment. But yeah, it's 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 cute and charming in its own way. Yeah, I mean the trailer I feel like has the worst parts of the game, which is the cutscenes, <laughs> which are like especially Jude's face. His, I mean, I don't know what it is about those cutscenes where it's just his big face. There, he, there it is. But that's just not that interesting, and it's a very small part of the game. And I'm glad that that's not really there that much. Uh, it's it's a lot more about the cool backgrounds, which they don't show enough of in the trailers. Like those, those are like really lovely details stuff. It's not like just drawn like nicely. It's like so many little things they drew in there, like the types of toys that like that they got the time period. They have clues to the time period by like um, there was this little toy I noticed, which was like a '90s cartoon of a shark, a uh, tough guy is a is a mutant shark, and it's like a very obscure, cool reference of a toy that I actually had. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, they they really thought about basically absolutely everything that went into the backgrounds. They should have pushed that more. But uh yeah, I I I I I think it was pretty cute. I liked I liked I, wish I, had... I liked when Joey was uh, standing around being scared. That's that's what I liked. I wish I had seen that street shark thing in the background. I actually had like a different perception of the cutscenes. I thought that they were like what a traditional cutscene is as like a reward for good gameplay, so it should be like kind of the climax to to the to the moment but but even then even what i thought it would be it couldn't be because the cutscenes were completely broken and bald and like your cpu oh, yeah. and stutter and like they stutter but the timing of the cutscene doesn't stutter so if your cutscene stutters it will end early and if it stutters and never ever loads you'll get a black screen for like a minute and a half and then you'll go back to gameplay uh, that didn't happen to me but i did have like a couple times when uh it stuttered and you know, it didn't, it, it just, it loaded the very end, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess he did, he, he, something happened, but I can't rewatch it, 
So I have to play the whole game again, I guess, to know what happened. I mean, I can piece it together, yeah. but it's like I don't. I, they didn't feel like much of a reward because some of them were like really just there's two two frames, two two images they're switching between, and then others are like actually animations. So I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't really tell what was going on with it because the game just wouldn't run well on my computer. And now we're actually spoiling my video. But let's talk about the video game. Oh my it's god! It's a video game. It's R called Hive Swap, and it's eight dollars on Steam, and it's getting decently positive reviews. I haven't seen a single review of it except for, except for Given Circuits. And what I thought about the game was that it was a video game. It was a, uh, it was mildly comfy. And the backgrounds are super detailed. I hope I'm fucking lagging out right now. Say say hey. Hey. Okay, cool. I thought I was lagging out for a second there. I mean, I wish I could have like appreciated like the the magnificent detail in the environments and exploring everything for flavor text. Uh, m my issue was the game just like wouldn't run very well because my computer's a fucking toaster, and the flavor text like it didn't like make you laugh consistently. But it was like a, it was charming and comfy. Uh, yeah, it's and characterized the character strongly. Like my video goes into like it's 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 Homestuck light. It's like if you wanna if you wanna taste. Of that sort of writing style, but you don't want to be overwhelmed. It's it's good for that. You 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 get reminded of Homestuck by what by playing Hive Swap. Um, you know, it did lots of things didn't make me laugh, but it, lots of things didn't make me cringe. No, nothing made me cringe. I think it was just sort of like, ah, you you nearly got there. You know, there's a couple times when there was like, eh, yeah, nothing. You didn't really do well, but like, like there was <laughs> there was that one bit where it's like, um. Obviously, they wanted it to be like a funny meme moment where Joey gets the cracker, and it's like, oh, the cracker, and I'm like, okay, I mean, you just, <laughs> yeah, I just had, to, I just had to click on that shelf. That that's all ha that happened for that. I, it's, it's it's like implying that you didn't know to click on that shelf, and you were clicking on everything else for ages, and then it was a triumphant moment. But you could have clicked on it immediately because there's nothing stopping you, so it wouldn't have worked in that way for lots of people, and it didn't for me. Yeah, there's, there's a few moments where they tried to be funny and it didn't work, but uh, most of it is like, all right, I think. Yeah, I think most of it was just like comfy. It was like, all right, I like this. This environment's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna click on things. I wanna get text. It's it's very, it's very all right. And uh, you know, it might have been magnificent if the game were like ran well, dude, like <laughs> seriously. Yeah, like, it's like, weird okay, how that, but like they, the Homestuck style happened. itself, the Homestuck style itself is like anti synergistic to the game lagging because Homestuck has animations that are just frames. And like, is, is Jude's tap dancing animation a full smooth animation or is it jagged frames? Please answer me this because I oh. can't tell. W uh, j uh, you mean Joey? Yeah, the girl. I'm sorry. Uh, fuck. Uh, girl, Joey, she tap dances. Is uh, it is it like it's still it's or is it deliberate. Uh, her well, she like her standing still is just sort of like three or four frames, and yeah, um, the the tap dancing is a couple frames. It's it's less frames than you would imagine. Obviously, for like yeah. budget and time constraints, they couldn't do as many in betweens. But I think the fact that they kept that relatively consistent throughout, like walking around and stuff, was all right. But it's obvious why they did that. They just couldn't. Yeah, well, it is a home. It is a very homestuck thing to do. I'm just saying that like that animation style really made me question. Every single time an animation was occurring with that style, I'm like, is my game lagging? Is it happening right? Is it is my computer stuttering the animation by like one frame to make this timing like not land? Because like, you know, when she does when they do the like the jagged animation, normally they're like really fast and kinetic. Either that, or yeah. they have like really good timing where they punch. But if they lag like just a little bit, then that timing is like dead, and it just it just looks like a computer dying in front of you, which my computer is. Yeah, I mean, for me, it it didn't lag at all. It was just a couple times the it glitched out on the cutscenes only, and the rest of the game was like smooth as as it you know it was fine. You clicked on a place, they go there. Um, the text boxes came up, the the animations or nothing like fucked up in that way. So I was never like wondering whether the game was lagging. Um, All right, cool. 
So it it looked fine when it works, I guess. That's that's the moral of that. Like it, it looks okay. Yep. It looks good when it's when it's running well. I think they're trying to patch it to make it optimized better. Um, I mean, I hope yeah. they are. If that you know, they should. <laughs> it's something they sh- so definitely every, should do. Every game's got to be patched after it comes out. What did you think of Alternia, the place, the setting? Um, I liked it. I'm. Tr- I was trying to think how does this fit into things, but um. I had forgotten that those drones were, like, in Homestuck. I think they were. They were, like, explained as a thing before Hive Swap. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Now I get it. I yeah. Um, the whole thing with the, like, they're in, a like, a, a, a low suburb, a, a low place, a low blood, rust blood, bitch blood, fag blood area. Uh, where they just <laughs> nukes are dropped for fun, because fuck those guys. Uh, I I like that. I like this idea that they're rebelling, and this is probably going to be a big old thing. And it's um, yeah, it's it's. I like the story. I really want to see who that that mysterious person is at the end that they allude to in in the the next act. I want to see if that's the 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 Vriska of 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 Hive Swap. <laughs> There's gotta be one. I am I'm waiting for yes. that. <laughs> Uh, you finished Homestuck years before, I believe. I haven't yet. I'm reading Homestuck right now. Live on Arm Retrieval, guys. We're on Act 6, Act 2 right now. Patreon.com so slash only... right here. Right here. Give me money. So my only my only exposure to Troll World is pre-scratch, where everything was just alien and everyone was just an asshole to each other, and you really didn't understand like the emotional gist of what, of what the kids' decision-making were, partially because they're... Uh, impulsive teenagers and partially because they're troll aliens and we can't understand some of their things just biologically and so it so I'm not sure what to think of when I see Alternia and Hive Swap and it's like it's literally a normal house that Tavros lives in he just lives in a normal house and he has like pictures on his wall and he has like sports things yeah. and he's got like the the kick soccer game and all I that I mean it's it's basically the same uh, I, I right I don't know whether this is spoiling anything, but I think this is still pre-scratch. No, this is post. Oh, this is post scratch. Scratch because yeah, like post, yeah. Like um, uh, the uh, the the original trolls that we never we haven't seen yet, the ancestors. They scratched their session, and um, then the world was recreated, and Doc Scratch, uh, made all the trolls fucking psychopaths to make them stronger, so that the next time they go in. That doesn't happen, and they don't have to scratch, and they win the game, which is the I think the idea. So they're in this version of Alternia where there's a lot of racism and weak people are nuked, uh, which is it's it's scary. Ooh, drones coming, you know, can't cross the street uh, at all, you'll die. You can't cross the street without a super speed animal to help you. Uh, it's just like. I, I guess I guess like what I can legitimately take issue with is how is how welcoming Alternia looked. Everything like glows warmly. And like if you think back at like Carcat's house, it's like all dim and grey and harsh colors and stuff. And it it's very alien and all and the structures of the house are even told to be like weird and like designed by a thirteen year old or a twelve year old. Yeah. A twelve I, I'm wondering sweet about old? that. Like yeah. like this is this is years before the trolls we know are around, although the ages of, like, trolls vary by blood, so they could have been around, I don't know. Uh, but, like, it, it seems like in this suburban urban environment that the trolls don't build their houses as kids, because these are all, like, pretty uniform. They, they just live here. I don't know what That's the situation right. is there with that. We don't know. You could... You could just count it being like a, just a watered down version of Homestuck, where everything's just a little bit more understandable, a little bit more straightforward, yeah. a little bit more approachable. I just I, I find that argument though that Hive Swap is just like watered down Homestuck meant to get other people into Homestuck kind of weird because Hive Swap was funded by fans of Homestuck. It's it's definitely weird, but I feel like like I can see it from a business perspective in that the Homestuck fandom grew big and then died out because the Homestuck ended or was like went downhill or whatever and um, I feel like getting new people just random new people into a game about Homestuck would be more sensible because you know 
uh, it would be nice for loads of people to enjoy this game that we're spending years making and, and money. Uh, we want it to be good for the Homestuck fans. Uh, we want to put in a, a lot of references. We want it to be like canon to the series. But we want it to be uh, something separate so that you don't need to read all of Homestuck and then new fans can get into the whole thing. I, f I understand the, uh, the, under the, the decision making there. It's just that, yeah, it is kind of weird that it's it's funded by Homestuck fans, big old fanboys, some of which paid huge big bucks. Uh, and they it's not... Just end a sentence and then I'll start another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so it, it, it's pretty understandable to, like, have a sensible business model that'll keep bringing the bread home so that you can feed your family and live, but I'm not... I'm not them. <laughs> I'm a very consumer-minded person. It's got to be for me. Everything has to be made specifically for me and for me as hard as possible. Uh, good. I want you to go full niche, and, I'll, uh, and, f and I want your art to be weird and, un and unintelligible and still have it on Steam. Yeah, that's... I mean, I, I definitely approve of that mindset. I just like thinking about all the others. Because, like, I, yes. I, there's no reason to think, oh, well, it's a business. Because, like, I think there's loads of businesses that I don't care about the businessman behind it. So I'm just being, like, biased because I know that this, the Hussey is a human and he makes art. And I'm like, oh, good good job, I guess. Good, uh, good you, Well done. Even though it's it's not really what I wanted, I would have liked uh, something with less Tavros in it. I mean... <laughs> Come on, the only troll. He's literally Tavros. The only troll. His name is Zephros. It's oh, like half the name exactly. It, it, it is half like, the name. I didn't in notice the that part. In the, tra in the trailer, Zephros looks like a suave, cool dude. He looks like a guy who's down to party, and he's he looks like your best bro. He looks like your best friend. And then when you get into the game, like he just like keeps saying sorry to you. He keeps apologizing to you. And he keeps like, oh, is this a test? I don't know if this is a test, man. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, it's like, dude, you're fucking Tavros, dog. Uh, He's got to get a People spot. like Tavros and Aridon, and there are fans of them. <laughs> dude, why? <laughs> they're, they're supposed to be hated. You don't get it. Uh, oh, well. That's, well, that's no, it's not, oh, well. I shouldn't be saying, oh, well. I should be saying, oh, <laughs> yeah. fuck you. They don't, don't compromise. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's why I'm excited to see more trolls. I want there to yeah. be a huge bitch. I want to see what happens with the, the fish bitch lady. Yeah. She seems like a good good, good, uh, good girl. Uh, I will uh, root for her no matter what happens, probably. Yeah. The way she was introduced was a bit eye-rolling for me. Maybe it's just because the cutscene stuttering, but like... I mean, like, you know, she's like, oh, she's like, she's like the, she's like the, she's like the high school bitch who takes a selfie. And then I think to myself, wait a minute, they just took a selfie earlier. Selfies are just a thing people take now. That's just a thing that normal people do. That's not, wait. I'm not above selfies. Hang on. You just said that. And I was just thinking, Joey, oh, wait, no, no. Because, uh, like, Joey's a 90s kid or, like, uh, an 80s, 90s kid. Wait a kid. second. Oh yeah, it's so like 1994 selfies, in this game. Selfies wouldn't have been a thing, but uh, she wasn't the one to take the selfie. She was told to do it so that he could see her face. So it wasn't like she was taking a selfie, but then she did it again later. Yeah, she did it him. again later, of her own accord. Yeah, because, like I don't know, she, she wanted to see them both together. Yeah. Uh, no, well, it's nice. Like, I understand the sentiment behind it. And, like, it's, it's not a big, it's not a big problem. It's not a big, like, it's not a big... Dude, selfies were inverted. I'm like gonna that. go and kill myself now. Weren't their eyes like kind of glowy too because of like bad lighting or something on the second picture? The Didn't their eyes? eyes like glow a little bit? Well, like you know when you take like a bad picture on like a poor camera, like your eyes can like glow red. Oh, did they have like that level of little detail? I'm I'm wondering if that happened because if that did happen, then it like it kind of justifies it back again. Even though it wasn't a big problem to begin with, like you can justify the fish girl dude, taking a selfie realism. because she's a troll. She's a fucking alien, dude. She just like we can't understand their culture. Like, dude, trolls had had uh, s uh, smartphones way before we did. Guess they're smart. 
They're way smarter than us. Oh, there's so much more. <laughs> Their emotions are so much more complex and Dude. nuanced. And that's why they have a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, literally Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but it's trolled. Didn't they already have that in, like, in Homestuck, in Carcat's room? Or was that just uh, Will Smith? Oh, that's what I'm referencing. That's what I'm referring oh. to. Yeah, yeah, so I just brought up the footage, and so Joe, so Joey's the girl? Yes. Oh, fuck. I'm getting a call from my phone. Oh, is it Joey? I'm gonna... It, it is. I'm gonna go answer it, and you're gonna have to entertain the crowd. Well, I could entertain the crowd, or I could cut this out of the video, depending on who's editing this. Maybe me. Um. Y y y y oh, look, it's the my favorite character, Superman. Hello, it's just, it's just me, Superman. I, I, um, I'm here to, to say I, I really like, uh, I really like Five Swap. It is my favorite. Yes, I'm, I'm super. I'm, 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 i uh, the Fresh Prince himself, Will Smith, actually goes through a time void that just, like, a purified out of nowhere, because that's what happens in Homestuck. <laughs> and he just, like, reaches his hand in, because when, you, when you're presented with a giant hole, your first instinct is to stick your, Dick your in fist it. in, full in. <laughs> and then, and then he, he, he finds this, like, weird, cold plastic in his hand, and he, he pulls it out of the time void, and it's a fucking iPhone 8S X. SX1080 snowboarding. And iPhone he just, SEX. Like, he just like, <laughs> and he just stares at it. And he just kind of stares at it. And like in on the screen is just his face. And he's like really freaked out about it. So he just like hits the button and it fucking snaps his picture. And he's like, oh, this is so whack, man. What the fuck? And then he just throws it back in the, the portal. And that's, and that's like, what, what the heck is are. Will, it's your face. I don't never seen that before. And he, and he jumps into a ravine. And that's uh, how, and that's how Joey got the idea to take a picture of herself in a very amicable manner. And that's how Equestria was made. Whoa! I needed to, I needed to know that. Uh, I just, I like how Joey's eyes glow red, and then Zephyros's eyes are like white, with like a black outline, so they're like different. I like the, oh my God, this is such a pretty picture too, because Joey's, well, well, both the characters' black hair is like highlighted with red. Like a pinkish red. And it's like, fuck yeah. yeah. Don't even fucking highlight and shade with darker and brighter versions of the color. Don't even fucking do that, you idiot. You stupid white guilt bitch. Don't even do that. <laughs> Whenever you draw, you need to highlight your colors with completely different colors. And it makes your thing like 10 times prettier. You don't even know how to, you don't even need to know how to draw. You just need to understand to, to shade your things with color. And it's like, and your eyes are just like, dude, this is some fucking good shit, dude. Like, seriously? I mean, come on. I, I like, I like that. I think Davu said on Twitter, it's like, um, art major, no, uh, hiring an art major the game. Like, like, yeah, the, 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 I remember all that the, all the art in this is like, it's really nicely done. Oh God, and, say I. Uh, oh, I, I, I know all of them have tumble pages. And and deviant You're silly, accounts, did you? and I don't mind, you but it's just funny. It's okay. that I can tell. I don't know how. It's not. They're just they're just they're just You're internet gay. people. I get it. Da, 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 the thing You're, that which, oh. the thing totally that which I broken. fucked your mom. Beep. Beep. All right, we're back, lady. Sick. I, I totally fucking sang the thing that you sang when you disconnected with Digi on the fucking podcast interview on the Procrastinators podcast because I'm a fanboy of you, just like just like mysterious character you. You is a fanboy of all trolls. Wait, I'm mixing up characters that I haven't even met yet. Did you say mysterious? 
Mr. Enter, my favorite YouTube channel of all time. Oh my god, I can't believe we were able to shoehorn in Mr. I'm Enter gonna Mysterious come. Reference into Arm Retrieval! Yes. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Yes. Uh, also, like... v uh, Vriska won the wrestling. I, I am seeing her now. <laughs> Shit, dude, that's fucking awesome. She killed the them best. all. She killed them mercilessly. She killed them through deceit and through sheer strength. Did I even mention on, like, in the thing that I was I was playing a wrestling game? I think you did. I believe I, you did. I, I, I'm watching a wrestling game with Vriska Terezi, Ryuko Matoi, and Florina <laughs> from <laughs> Fire Emblem. Uh, I forgot and, and that Terezi was there. <laughs> yeah, she. I, I made her outfit. It took all day, but I made Terezi's outfit uh, from, uh, you know, the Flarp outfit, the, the cool red and green thing. It's fucking sick. But she's dead it's now. Fun. I'm gonna have to delete that character that I made, because she's dead canonically. She's canonically dead and she can't come back. And what I, yeah, so what I really like about Hive Swap is that it was made by artists who major in art and they made really pretty pictures and the whole game looks really pretty. It looks really solid, and I really wish my computer could run it well so I could see it in its full majesty. I really like I really like the artistic decision. Well this is like a narrative decision as well, to make uh, the pet, the 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 big old boof dog, like a big white fluffy dog, and then both Zephros's Lucis and the sunglasses Lucis. We'll call him Twin Armageddon. And all every Lucis is a big white fluffy thing, and they're all your best friend, and they're all soft, yeah. and they're all I mean, friends. I mean, they're that's... not like they're not like vicious, destructive Luci that you would expect. But I like what they are. I mean, I think. In canon, all the Lucises have, for some reason, just are completely white anyway. So they, it was probably like, oh, let's let's you know, she's got she, she uh, uh, Jake, uh, Jake Harley is a cunt. Uh, he likes shooting and killing animals. His his daughter doesn't like that. She would what? She she likes dogs. Uh, we'll give her a big old dog. Give her a big old dog, just like the big old troll dog reindeer. White, white guilt. Every <laughs> Everything is a big white guilt dog. It really, uh, really, it really pissed me off, like in a fun way, to see the big dog just be a complete fucking coward to all the monsters at the beginning. Like you fucking. I you, was you bitch. expecting at some point he would come back. It feel. It, I mean, it, it. This is the first time. This is an act one. You know, it's an act one of a game. It's the first time I've played a game that has come in parts like this, and it just. It, it's taking time to get used to the fact that all these That's things right. were introduced and only half of them were, you know, brought up for the re oh, for the fuck. for the for the game. The dog never comes back after the first cutscene. Jude barely does anything and he's still there. And then there's the, obviously the troll that has switched place with Joey. Which, by the way, can we talk about those monsters? What the fuck are they? Where are they from? Why are they they not scary at all? Why are they strange? <laughs> uh, why why is that snake thing at the very beginning? He go he roars, but his mouth is just sort of lazily open, like eh. Like a goofy, I'm here. Like mouth. Oh fuck! We're criticizing a joke that hasn't been finished being told yet. Oh fuck, dude! I gotta fucking hang myself from the fucking noose to be on the opposite end of that statement. That sick quote from a comment section on an obscure YouTube video no one has talked about. I like the part in Hive Swap. Yeah, are those monsters even? Are those monsters from Troll World? Are they just from their own thing? No, they're just this unique to Hive Crocker? Swap. Like I, I, I mean, I can't imagine what they are, because. All right, I can assume based on the fact that there was a super portal that they are there to destroy the super portal uh, because they're drawn to it from some oh, fucking yeah. bullshit reason. Um, and obviously, what's going to happen in Act Two is that we're going to get we're going to get to see. The troll, uh, the twin Armageddon, who came over, and he's gonna be the one who interacts with the dog, and you say, "Hey, this is just like my Lucis, except uh, its blood is different." Uh, as he says, as he beats it to to see the blood color. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he's obviously gonna call the Lucis a piece of shit because it's like it doesn't have any like combat capabilities. It's a domestic dog. Yeah, and, and he's forward. and he's gonna be yeah. he's gonna be walking around that house. And he's going to be talking to Jude, and they're going to be become best friends because they're both completely crazy in the exact same way, which is funny. Uh, Maybe we're going to see the house in all of its detail and love and care put into it from the perspective of a troll who has no idea what anything is. And isn't that going to be fun and a good time? Uh, yeah. 
Um, I uh, fucking the... okay. We, this is what we missed. This is what we glossed over. Is that there's just a portal in the attic. There's just a portal in the attic that takes you to Alternia. We know. We know that's not. Well, like, I mean, that's up. obvious. That's obviously <laughs> gonna be explored in the story, and it's gonna be like, oh, by the end, it's, hopefully, it's, it's gonna be a, It's gonna be explored about as much as as Rose's lab in her basement. <laughs> oh well, you know, that's that's getting explored a little bit more. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. Might actually get explored. But um, all right, fucking the, the clicking on stuff. Clicking stuff on things. Oh, shit. Dude, um, am I just going to spout more points from my fucking award-winning rushed to completion video about how clicking on things doesn't feel satisfying and doesn't reward exploration as much as the art design, like, actually does? Because the mouse moves like molasses. It has a different sensitivity than your regular mouse, and it runs at, like, 25 frames per second because my computer's a toaster. And it's uh, just like, ew, 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 I just want to move on. I still haven't watched your video. I think you, did you? That's because it's not done, dude. Oh, okay. No, no, just kidding. It's done. Right. It's on my channel right now. Do your viewers go there right now? Click the link in the description. Oh, I didn't catch that probable hint that you you dropped there at the beginning. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, obviously my computer didn't have lag. So I may not understand where you're coming from with that, but I found, f- I found that it, clicking on stuff was all right, but there was, it's it's kind of annoying when you find out that every single clickable onable thing can be clicked on with every single item and every ability to get a unique text box, and you oh. have to go all right. Well, if I want to see all of the funny jokes, because there are a few like achievements and cute things you can do. With the pogs and and stuff. Gibbo, are you implying that by playing Hive Swap for two hours, I did not, in fact, experience most of the game? Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I did, I played it for about the same amount of time, but I didn't click everything on everything. <laughs> I didn't think to do oh, that. Man. Well, my perspective is like completely changed with that revelation because, like, I I understood that like tap dancing at things made a different thing happen, but like every single item is going to just be crazy. That that means I experienced like 1 eighth of the text tops. Oh, oh yeah. Like like it and obviously your inventory changes so you're like, okay, I've got this item, but I may not have it for a long time. So I'm going to go to every place I've already been and check all of the things. Uh, I mean, it's fun if you if you've beaten it and you're bored and you feel like just walking around and clicking on things. Um so I guess it's like nice to have extra stuff. But as a person who likes to find everything, you feel like you can't really move on. I mean, the first time oh, I played yeah, it, I was like doing that. I was doing it because I wanted to review it quick. So I was like, I'll just play it, you know, normal. Like, just play it. Uh, but going through it over again with no review to make, I feel like I um, just... It's, it's boring doing what I want to do because of how much there is of it. And I get burned out very quickly. Like I still I haven't, see. se- I still haven't seen the death scene. I want to get to the bit where oh, yeah. you can probably die. I think somebody said like, uh, yeah. in in the bit where like y- you could just wait for them to. I-, I actually don't know. I don't know where it is, but I know that there's a way to I lose. Heard. And I assume I it's like when there's the yeah. big like all the monsters are chasing you and you don't run to the attic. You just wait there, then they eat you. I want to see that. But oh, I've yeah. been clicking. I've been clicking with the pigeon and the tap dancing and the ballerina shoes and all the items with each other and on all the things. I mean, thankfully you only have to click them with each other like once, and then that's that. You know, you know it then. But like, it's it's kind of interesting sometimes that sometimes like you you can just throw. Uh, chili dust all over something and sniff it and be like, oh, that that's nice. You can click <laughs> on it again. Um, even if you're not clicking on an object with an item, you have to click on it twice to interact with it. You click it, you get this like little, this little like artsy gooey window of look or interact with. And it's like, uh, you gotta click on everything twice. It's like, uh, like maybe you should oh, have like well, left dude, click be the co- look and then right click be the interact. I don't know. I mean, sure, but I feel like. The way they did it is like way better than point and click games usually are, where you have to click a magnifying oh, yeah. glass or a I nose th- or an eye and then drag it over to the thing, which is like the amount of things. It's like like doubles the length of time to do anything. Yeah. 
quadruples the length of time because well yeah well it, in your mind it does because you're like well i could sniff everything in this room but i'm pretty sure nothing is going to come of that which leads you to you know especially when you sniff things and it's like well obviously that wouldn't nothing would happen and then there's that one thing that is crucial to sniff that doesn't seem like you're supposed to sniff it but they they expect you to be sniffing everything because you would want to I guess and that's how you I've... complete the puzzle that's how old point and click games are they they yeah. they give you too many options and then they expect you to use like a very strange option on a very strange thing in order to find a specific item you need and you can never figure it out unless you just click everything on everything and this game does away with that that idea where there's lots of random bullshit nonsense text you can get if you want, but what you have to do is very clear, and I do like that. Like, there's yeah. no if, if you can you can speed run this on the on your first playthrough if you're just like skimming things and like all right, got it, go, 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 no bullshit. I know where I know where I'm going. I know probably what I need. Yeah, I've played like no point and click adventure games other than Clue Finders third and fourth grade adventures, but that does sound like what a point and click adventure game is. I feel a little weird about the mindset, the inherent mindset of point and click adventure games where it's like, oh, I could experience all this flavor text, but I really just want to glaze past it and figure out what the fuck I really need to do. And I feel like I got that feeling in Hivesop, even with the thing. Like there were a lot of moments in Hivesop where I'm just like, I ah, fucking whatever, just walk through, what do I need to do here? And it's... it was like, click on something I didn't even realize was clickable. And I'm like, damn it. Yeah, um, well, I didn't have problems finding what was clickable just because you just I'm shake retarded, your mouse over. I'm I, I don't <laughs> have I most... don't have the ability of perception because I clicked on the radio to turn it off, and I didn't realize oh. that the radio was battery powered. I thought that because it was on a counter next to a wallet was plugged in, but there were like bandages over the cover and everything, and I'm like, oh, I'm stupid. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean that one you, you were stupid because that was pretty obvious that you had to click on the special bandages that were very colorful. But um, I I understand that because like as a point and click a, a connoisseur, a lot of things are annoying when you 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 learn sometimes that clicking on the item itself is not what you're supposed to do. You have to click on a specific part of the item, and then he'll do the thing you want to do. Like you have to click on uh I don't know. Let's say there's a there's a there's a chest, and you click on the chest, and he says it's a chest. But if you click on the latch, he opens it, and it's like stupid shit like that. Um, there's not that much of that in Homestuck uh, Hive Swap, I mean, uh, but that the the radio thing that that comes close, I guess. <laughs> it comes close. There's there's yeah, a few like probably a few moments said. like that. Yeah, you said that Hive Swap does a good job of like watering down both Hi both Homestuck and Point and Click Adventure Games into something that's very accessible to everyone. And I would agree on that. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just the fact that I got into the mindset of, oh, fuck this. Just tell me what to interact with your walkthrough. That's like, I don't know. Oh, did I'm like, you, you look know, it Because up? I come from platformers and rhythm. Yeah, I looked up a lot of shit. Oh, you fool, you fool, you fool. It was dude. easy. What are you, what are well, you bitch? <laughs> yeah, dude. I got a fucking, I've, I'm a horse and I have like those blinders on the horse where like, if I don't see the solution immediately, I'm never going to fucking All right, see maybe, it. Alright, maybe, maybe I'm giving people too much credit. See it. Maybe I'm peop giving people too much credit when I say it's, it's watered down point and click. I, I, I just like, feel like. Well, not like, watered down, it's like simplified, accessible. Sim simplified and accessible. Cause like, I have heard that people have trouble. Like I, I saw, oh, Jack Septicai is, is playing it. It's got a million views. Wow. That's more than Act 7. Wow. <laughs> that's more than Homestuck has ever gotten. Is the uh, uh, Jack but he Why couldn't get Jack through. more popular than Homestuck. How could it possibly be that way? But um, I didn't watch it. But it, I mean, you know, because you know, he's, he's he screams. Yeah. He's a screamy man. It's like, if if I haven't made it clear, any problem I have with Hive Swap is purely subjective and purely me just like being under equipped and retarded, and I actually have no real complaints with the game. Just well, as someone coming from, like, a platformer and rhythm game genre, I just, like, want everything to be, like, optimized and, like, n not streamlined, but I want, like, the, the controls well, to be as streamlined as possible. Yeah, so, like, I mean, that's I, exactly I honestly the think thing that the about... left click to look, right click to interact, like, would be a great idea to speed things up. I, I guess I it would That I thought of just now. <laughs> it, I, yeah, but, um, yeah, I guess it would be. I think I have heard of a few games that do that. It's just sometimes you 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 you're playing on a Mac and what the how do you do that? How do you right click on a Mac? You know you got to think of those Mac Control users. Click. I don't give a shit about Mac users. <laughs> Fuck um, Mac users. <laughs> Fuck you, Kazzy. But yeah, I was lo looking at the Jacksepticeye thing and he the first part was him not knowing the first problem, 
which is I assume. Oh. I, I got stuck on the first problem too. It, well, I got stuck as well because I didn't realize you had to search the 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 dog. I didn't know I that. Like, I, I didn't know I that that dog the situation was. Situation because of my autism. Yeah, the the only thing was like I didn't know where to find the key, and it was inside yeah. the the dog which was pregnant with puppies. I didn't know that's what it was because it wasn't turned up to look like it. I, I mean, I guess I could have. I I clicked look. And I didn't think to click search after I clicked look, so that was my bad. <laughs> I know. I made the same mistake. I clicked look, and I'm like, oh, all of her prized possessions are here. And to me, prized possession means something you're never going to use and that you keep her sentimental value. And then I go to her diary, and it's, like, locked. And I'm like, well, you would keep the lock for your diary that you write in regularly somewhere where you can easily find it so you can easily unlock the diary. And it's like, no, yeah. the diary is a prized possession that she would keep in the place where the game told me she keeps prized possessions. And also in the diary, she writes that she hasn't been writing in it lately. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I don't know where, it's I think uh, I was just going with, yeah, it's, get it's, good it's, Steve. Steve is terrible at video games. <laughs> well, not just name. Steve. He not said just Steve. the funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just Steve. It's it's everyone. I feel like I feel like I give people too much credit for for saying, Everyone's "Oh no, it's it's games. easy. You can just you can just look around, click on everything, and read everything, and you will know what to do." And I'm sure people do not know what to do sometimes. And I did get stuck on one thing, where um, I didn't know you had to uh, telekinesis the spoon. I had no idea that that, Isn't that like. You had to telekinesis the spoon, and if you didn't have the spoon, you couldn't uh, pry the the thing off of the wall, the weapon. Um, Isn't that like what invalidates first playthroughs and first watches in the eyes of people like Digibro? Because like we don't understand it at first, and like we have to consume it like once or twice in order to like learn it, in order to like actually legitimately understand it. Um. I I guess, but I don't know that Digi would ever have the patience to play through anything like this once, let alone twice. Well, yeah. Well, he just well he I I've just heard him say well if you compare it to like him watching anime like I've heard him say I hope this isn't misrepresenting his opinion I hope this is exactly literally what he said that like the first watch of an anime is kind of irrelevant because you're watching it for the first time and you don't get it and it's only once you watch it the second time that you know what's coming that you can really find the subtleties and all the little hints and really uh, understand it. Yeah, I I didn't feel that in this in this game though. It mostly because uh, you can, you know, you can stop by and and look at everything as you go along. And it's yeah. a game where you walk from uh, to to and then back through rooms. So like you can experience you can you can examine things and get the information on like, oh, Oh, that's probably hinting towards that puzzle being solved. That ha that's that's what they're saying. If you click on that thing to get information, but you can do that at any point, and you can co totally skip it if you really want. So it's y it's it's not really the, exactly the same unless you play yeah. the game by clicking on everything on everything before moving on. You're right. Clearly, we feel like we have a decent understanding of the game, and that's why we're talking about it and making videos about it. Yes. I love Homestuck. It is I, my parents. I, <laughs> Homestuck is your parents. I also oh no, my parents like were killed. Homestuck. It blows my mind that Homestuck fucking happened at the same time as the pony phase. I, it blows my mind that those two happened at the same fucking time. I, I, I simultaneously want to have been into Homestuck during the time it was out. But also, don't think my my low Christ consciousness level could handle both Pony and Homestuck happening at the same time. I feel like I would have gone full autism if that. I happened. feel like I'm, I feel like Homestuck was more of a thing, and then Pony became a thing as Homestuck was sort of petering out. But I'm not sure. Uh, so Pony started becoming a thing in 2010, and Homestuck started in 2010. Is that right? Uh, 2009. But like like 2012 was when Pony was huge, and then uh, Homestuck was at that point I think sort of petering out. Oh, uh, okay. But I can't so remember because I I, 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 I I can't remember because I wasn't there reading Homestuck. Like Ben Sane was the one who got me into Homestuck, so it's obviously kind of into the Pony stuff before because like it was a while before I started doing Pony videos and then Pony reviews and then meeting the other horseshoe crew guy is meeting Ben Saint who then at some point 
we got in. We, he told me about Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff, and from there I, I read Homestuck. At which point it was already on its huge, unending uh, pause. And the mega or giga pause, whichever. The giga pause, yeah. We're just gonna like. I hope one of. I hope someone knows when and where the giga pause and mega pause were. Like maybe the comic itself will like acknowledge it, because if the comic doesn't acknowledge it, we're not gonna realize when it is. We're just gonna pass right through it in a oh, second. Oh well. I remember when that is because I I got to the end of it before it updated again, Whoa. and I was I was I was like oh, that I'm 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 done but it's not over I gotta wait and then you know I didn't have to wait months and months and years like everyone else, uh, but uh, it was a bad wait and then there was another wait. It was a bad wait and then there was another wait. Yeah, so much wait uh, you got to carry that weight all the way to the grave. <laughs> You piece of shit. And that's our review of Hive Swap. It's 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 pretty okay. It's pretty whatever. But mostly, give us views. Oh yeah, give us views. That's gonna be the the things. I mean, they're probably I... gonna be biased towards me because this is going on my channel, my secret. Oh fuck! Arm he's retrieval fucking channel. Taking this from me. I'm gonna this retrieve this from your it. arms. Cause fucking Munchie's not here, duty Dougie can't fucking do a thing about it. Not even fucking here, dog. These Sick. fucking weebs. These I'll put weebs. This, I, I might they even put this even on the progress. They didn't even come to the arm retrieval that we scheduled. Put it on the. <laughs> My dream will finally come true of becoming <laughs> on the procrastinators channel. Oh, oh, how we wow. will laugh. <laughs> that would gay. Be, I have the power. Be <laughs> that'd be sick. It'd be like sick, dude. Like that'd be really fucking funny. Oh, oh, there's so many places I, I could put it. I could, I could, I could. I am I could. the ascended fanboy. <laughs> I am the yeah. worst character in all of Homestuck. You're like the best PCP meme ever. <laughs> but Eat soon you're gonna be a part that needs to die. We're gonna have to. <laughs> Put that on the... Shut the... Don't fucking bring up the wiki. <laughs> That's the, ni it. Na the nice little jingle there. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, Anything I'm else? done. Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, outro. I wrote a bunch of memes for it, but memes that had to do with Homestuck and didn't actually have to do with Hive Swap. So, uh... Uh... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna end this episode with a bang. Homestuck is... Fucking boring! Dirk likes dick! Dirk likes dick! Dirk likes dick! Dirk likes dick! Dirk likes John! Dick. John <laughs> Fag Egbert! John Smear the Queer! Egbert! <laughs> I should have gotten a path. Okay, bye! We're done! We're done. <laughs>